And the greatest indication of the love that the Prophet ﷺ had for us. The greatest indication. And this is a, something that each and every one of us should think deeply about. I want you to think about this, not just today for the rest of your lives. What sacrifice the Prophet ﷺ did with this particular issue. And that is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given every single Prophet one request. As we say in English, one wish. One request. Every single prophet, this is a blessing that Allah has given them. That one dua that they really want to be answered, they will get that dua. And some of the prophets, they used it against their people who disobeyed them. Because they're so frustrated, they used it against their people. And so for example, Nuh alayhi salam, after making da'wah, for 950 years, he became so frustrated. He said, لا تدل على الأرض من الكافرين ديارة. Oh Allah, I don't want you to leave one house of kafirs on this earth. And so Allah destroyed all of the humanity of the time. And that was one town. One town. There was one, the whole town was destroyed. And only Nuh and his three daughters came from there. Nuh and his three daughters, that's it. All of humanity started again because Nuh made that dua. And Ibrahim alayhi salam made that dua for the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. رَبَّنَا وَبْعَثْ فِيهِمْ رَسُولًا Oh Allah, send from amongst them a Rasul. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and we'll talk about this next week inshallah, أَنَا دَعْوَةُ أَبِي Ibrahim. I am the dua of my father Ibrahim. This was the dua he made. I am that dua. Right? And Musa alayhi salam made dua against Fir'aun. Because Fir'aun had, he was a mass murderer, he was a genocidal killer. He had killed these babies of, imagine, you know, this is basically, he was the Hitler of his time, Fir'aun, right? So Musa made a dua that, oh Allah, do not guide this person. Whatever happens, then never guide this person. And that's exactly what happened, that Fir'aun was never guided to, until even he tried to accept Islam, it was too late. It was too late. And so many we can give examples. Um, Sulaiman alayhi salam, right? Sulaiman made the dua. This was the special dua. His dua was, قَالَ رَبِّ هَبْلِي مُلْكًا لَا يَنْبَغِي لِأَحَدٍ مِّنْ بَعْدِي Give me a dominion. A lot of people translate this as a kingdom. This is not correct. Mulk here is control, not just a kingdom. Give me a dominion. Give me that control that you have given to no other human before me. This was his dua. I want powers that nobody has had. So Allah gave him powers that nobody had. فَسَخَّرْنَا لَهُ الرِّيحَ تَجْرِي بِأَمْرِهِ رُخَانْ حَيْتُ أَصَابْ We made for him the wind. And so the whole legends of the flying carpets and stuff, it came from Sulaiman. Sulaiman would sit on a carpet. And the carpet would take him. One night it would take him the journey of one month and bring him back. Take him all the way across the world. and That's where this journey and legend comes from. And the trapping of the genies and the bottles. It all comes from Sulaiman, right? فَسَخَّرْنَا لَهُ الرِّيحَ تَجْرِبَ أَمْرِي وَرُخَانِ حَيْدُ أَصَابِ وَالشَّيَاطِينَ And the shayateen. We made them subservient. كُلَّ بَنَّاءٍ وَغَوَّاصٍ They were building and they were diving deep and they were doing everything for Sulaiman. Bringing the treasures of the, the ocean and building palaces for him. So... Allah gave control of the jinns, mighty and powerful creatures. The control of the jinns was given to Sulaiman. And he could speak, We told him how to speak to animals. So all of the animals became his servants. That he had, He had the beasts that were his, that were his, under his command. This is the dua of Sulaiman, right? You see now what this dua can give you if you want it. It can give you a lot. Our Prophet ﷺ had the biggest dua. And he had the greatest dua. He has this one dua. And so what did he use it for? The Prophet ﷺ said that every single Rasul and every single Nabi, Allah has given him one dua that he has guaranteed that he will respond to. And every single Nabi has used up this dua for himself in this world. Everyone has used it up. 
except for me. I have saved it and I have not used it. And I will not use it in this dunya. I have saved it. I have kept it li for my ummah. I have kept it for my ummah and I will use it for them on the day of judgment. And the dua will be, Oh Allah, forgive my entire ummah. Billions of people. This is the dua of the Prophet ﷺ. My anybody who believed in me, Oh Allah, forgive him. And Allah will accept that dua in that every single Muslim, as we all know, shall eventually enter Jannah. Where did this come from? From the dua of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Every single Muslim who believes in this Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and who acted upon even a little bit of his teachings, no matter how sinful he was, eventually, and this of course, eventually you might go through Jahannam for a while, but eventually you will be forgiven and you will enter Jannah. And where did this come from? Because the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam saved that one dua. That one request that he could have done, he saved it and he sacrificed it for us. And there can be no greater sacrifice than that. And that shows us the love that he had. Oh.